What's up YouTube? It's your boy Wesley Lindsay back here again for another awesome video. Um, let's have a thing going called like Wesley Wednesday or something. That would be pretty cool. But anyways, if you caught my first video, I'll leave a link to that. But if you didn't catch it, uh, check it out. But today I'm going to be talking about my first trip to Los Angeles to star in a web series called Uncontainable, the ultimate art challenge. So here you go. Let's enjoy. <laughs> So when I found out I was being casted to star in a web series, I was so excited because it was going to be in LA and it was going to be my first trip there. So when I first landed in LAX, I was so excited. Hopefully I was going to run into like celebrities like David Beckham or Wiz Khalifa or you know my favorites like Kanye West, Kim Kardashian or any of the genders or anything. So I was kind of let down I, that I didn't like catch any anyone while I was like patrolling the area. But when I got there, um, my chauffeur, he had my name and everything so of course I snapped a picture of that but that was so cool he was so cool so you know I'm walking outside my see my first glimpse of like the LA skyline the just absorbing just breathing in the LA air and my chauffeur he was like the coolest most chill dude he was just giving me a background about LA, LA and like what's about and he also told me that he like literally the week before he was driving for Seth MacFarlane from Family Guy, and also I was literally sitting in the seat as the same seat as Justin Bieber, so I felt like I was Justin Bieber for a day. It was so cool. So the first thing I did when I got to the hotel, you know, I was so excited for LA. It was always a place of when to go. So the first thing I did was my room wasn't ready when I got there, so I left my all my luggage in like the storage spot, like the manager had for me. So I left it there. You know, I got like freshened up, got all my batteries and stuff. Here I am, live in LA, you know, living the LA life, about to go explore, do my thing, find my new home. And I literally went and walked around LA just to see the sights, to see just anything that um, that could be seen. I saw like the Chinese theater, the star, the Walk of the Stars. Um, there were so many weirdos just like 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 wearing costumes of like Spider-Man and like the Justice League and stuff like that. Like, hey, pay me to take a picture. Like, no bro, I'm good. Like, <laughs> that's why we have Halloween. Like, why would I spend $15 when I can just take pictures on Halloween for free? I don't get that concept. But LA and walking the Hollywood Strip was so fun. So I was walking the Strip. Mind you, this is my first time in LA. I had my battery charged and everything. And honestly, all I knew was, as long as my phone has battery in it, I have connection to the internet. I will find my way back to my hotel. So I went there and not only did I just search Hollywood, I saw this super cool neighborhood. It was so rich and glamorous that it was on this rule, it was on this super steep mountain and I just walked and I was just walking around their neighborhood. You know, I was on Snapchat, like sending pictures to everybody, videos of me just walking, looking at all these rich, famous houses. When I literally say I climbed up half of California, California's mountains to look at these rich ass houses, man. I'm still going. Like, honestly, felt like I was in Grand Theft Auto um, 5 specifically, um, where you're just like in these lavish neighborhoods and you're like walking around. You can see all the cool people with their rich cars and their rich houses and everything. So, when I got to the top of the neighborhood, I got to the literally the highest point I could get to where they had a road and it literally stopped. Mind you, there were still houses on the mountains. Like, it was so cool. But um, when I got to the highest point I could get to, I pulled out my phone out and I had this super emo moment. Because LA to me is always a, like, it's a place that I want to live right now. And that's where I know my life will be fulfilled. Like, all my hopes and dreams will come alive there. And that's just a goal for me. So the next day, our first day of after shooting, I met my teammates. And also, we met our first mentor, Madeline Frazier. Hey. Madeline Fraser. I am the co-founder of Zoom Interiors. We are an online interior design service and we service clients across the country. It's kind of funny because they took us to this building and we knew we were going to meet a woman and when they opened the door we met this lady and we see this dude that's with her so we're like we're just assuming like oh this must be our mentor so me and my teammate ai west we we kind of just like shook the lady's hand and we're just like hey nice to meet you whatever and we saw this guy and we kind of just ignored him 
And then one of our producers did, uh, came to us and you're like, yo, that is a YouTube sensation, Connor Franta. And me and my team are like freaking out. We're like, oh my God, we already left this terrible uh, impression of ourselves. Like we literally just ignored the mess out of Connor Franta. It was just, it was honestly funny. Connor was like the coolest dude ever. Madeline was super cool. She took us to her office and she told us about herself. Um, she was in Shark Tank, that super awesome show that um, I know Can Connor, he was a fan of, so he kind of like fangir fangirled that moment when he met her. But she was such a super cool person. She was literally golden. I could feel like the golden sparkles like raining down on me, like tears from heaven. So awesome, hope I can get some of her awesomeness. But like I was saying, she was just so awesome, so cool, and you can tell she just had a business mindset. She really knew where she was going in life. That's what I liked the most about her. Like we were, we were able to learn so much from her. So after we got done shooting at Madeline's, everybody, like the whole production team and everybody else, like with the art institutes that came, we all got lunch and it was so super cool because we, it was like, just even my teammates are awesome, but there was more people behind the scenes that helped make it happen. And honestly, they were just so professional. They were so cool. They were just honestly just having lunch with everybody and just to sit down for a second, you know, enjoy some good food, being a good company. That was honestly, anytime we were like all together, just chilling and relaxing a little bit, that was honestly one of the best moments of the trip. I just, it, they were just so awesome. It was so fun. So that afternoon, we went off to see our second mentor, Rick Ridiculous, Ridiculous uh, Rodriguez. And uh, we met him in his, um, his art gallery room. It was honestly, it was so cool because he was a mixed media artist and honestly he reminded me of my high school days uh, because I was way more using traditional artwork and then in college is when I started going you know, more into graphic design. So it reminded me of my artwork I did in high school Oh, his work was so cool, but his room was so freaking hot. Like, everybody was melting, and we're like, oh my god, this is the coolest experience ever, but it's literally negative 100 degrees in here. I might actually burn and die. So, of course, we got, like, tons of coffee, cut, tons of drinks, stayed hydrated, but seeing his work, despite the minor heat stroke we all had, it was so cool. So after that long action-packed night, me and my teammates, we all went out to this it was like this Japanese bar, just so, it was like our first team like gathering. It was like, it was so cool because we, you know, we kind of worked together starting getting to know each other, but this is our first time, just us four, just sitting down, just chatting, communi commu uh, communicating to each other, talking about um, just like what, like what we had going about ourselves. And my teammates, when I say we mesh so well, it was actually funny, I think everybody noticed like, why are we four different people from four different backgrounds, four different everything, and we just meshed so well. And I just like how art just got four different people and it just made us one. So after we had our cool ultimate dinner fest, we went over to Marfa's room that night and we had our first AI West t uh, team brainstorming, um, like community thing. So it's cool, we were just able to, you know, try to dissect the challenge as much as we can and think about the different aspects and different angles we can go about um, making a work of art out of a shipping container in 12 hours. So that was, that was definitely interesting. So the next morning, we got up bright and early. Okay, I guess 10 o'clock isn't too early. Uh, 10, we, were, we were up at 10 o'clock. But we got up to meet Connor Franta at our next, our third mentor, our last and final mentor. Her name was Valerie at her shop called Valerie Confections. And she is a chocolatier. My name is Valerie Gordon, and I'm the owner of Valerie Confections. I, mean, I didn't know what a chocolatier was. Like, I didn't know it was a word. I mean, obviously, context clues, you can kind of figure it out. But the fact that the literal job term is chocolatier, is like the coolest thing to me ever like do you get like are you like a chocolate musketeer do you get a cool sword to like fight people off coolest name ever so being in her shop was so cool she was showing us all these different tricks of the trade just by talking about the different types of sh chocolate just shipping the different just like little elegant touches she puts on she even had like candied rose petals i didn't try it because that's kind of weird to me i'm not going to eat something i can find on the ground like flowers and grass and stuff like that but apparently people literally eat that on chocolate and it's a good thing but i was going to try it myself so after we got done shooting at valerie's shop you know her space wasn't small 
It wasn't small, but let's say it wasn't big enough to handle like a whole production team in the talent. It was just not that big. So most of us, we just chilled outside, just waiting for everybody to wrap up. And then everybody's chilling and we hear just the screaming and this arguing. It's the 21st century, baby. And we look over and it's just like these people um, just arguing because there was just like a, a car accident. And it was like these two Hispanic people and this guy, and they were just talking in Spanish. And this guy's like, I can speak Spanish, don't talk crap about me. And I'm like, whoa, this is lit. So I hurry up and pull up my phone. You know me, I always have to catch all the good business. Gotta show my followers, show the world, you know, get your likes. So there's this little incident that me and AI West, we have the biggest inside joke. It is the pizza button. So that night, of course, we're just chilling, relaxing. We need food, right? So my team were like, hey, we have this book, you know, the hotel has, and it just has different restaurants you recommend. So I'm like, hey, you guys, I will order the pizza. You know, I worked at pizza places. I work in fast food, so I know exactly how to talk to them. I know what they're going to ask, and I'm, trust me, I'm the guy for this. So, you know, I'm like prepping, you know, getting ready, like, okay, Leslie, you got this, you got this. So... You know, I got my voice ready, I got ready, I picked up the phone, I typed in the button, like it says the pizza button, it's just a little nice and bright button that says, says pizza, so I click it, pull up the phone, I'm like, yes, my name is Wesley, and we would like to place a delivery order, and the guy on the other side of the phone, he's like, um, this is valet parking. So me, of course, I'm like social, socially awkward. I'm like, oh, okay. So I like hurry up and put the phone back, and I turn around to my P team, and I'm like, that's valet parking and we just start dying and bawling out it was just honestly the funniest thing if you talk to anybody on ai west if you say anything about a pizza button you're going to guarantee to make them laugh it was that funny during the web series uncontainable that was hosted by arson suits it was honestly like it was the best experience in my life just just like it's cool knowing when people you know in your life you kind of figure you know you try to do the right thing you think you have a good personality you think you're a likable person but when a professionals in the career field say hey we want you and you have this right traits and you got all these good things going for you and we believe you have talent that just reassures you that you know you're doing the right thing and honestly just knowing that they had this investment in me and knowing that we were going to be able to return on that it was the greatest feeling and i was just able to do my thing and have the ultimate experience first i like to thank jesus christ the lord savior himself because without him nothing is possible so i like to thank him you know he he had that special blessing out for me but i would also like to thank you know um like my parents for helping me get to that point but i also want to thank the institutes for hosting this awesome event um hopefully you know me and my team we did the best i think we totally rocked it everybody loved it it was such a great experience i would also like to thank milkman productions because their whole team was just the best people we enjoyed them so much and also I want to thank Carter Franta for being our team sponsor and also he was just such a cool guy you know like he felt like one of us like one of our friends he was so cool but all around it was the greatest experience in my life so YouTube you got to see my first time in LA you saw how awesome it was cool you got to meet my cool my cool teammates you got to see behind the scenes footage of Connor Franta you got to see me talk you know do my thing be the comedic genius I am but you know if you like the video make sure you hit the like button pound it really hard let's smash the likes um also make sure you subscribe to my channel to see more videos you know um also make sure you comment leave comments I love uh, going on the comments and seeing what everybody has to say and you know what what I want you guys to do, I want you to, you know, tell a friend about it. Go on Instagram, go on Twitter, make sure you get con connected with me because I like talking to you guys. I'm going to leave all my information down below in the description box. So make sure you get connected and let's just get this conversation going. Let's, you know, let's be friends. So my name is Wesley Lindsay again, and I'll catch you guys later next time. Now at our next location. Uh, Arts everywhere. Arts everywhere.